Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force has asked the government to urgently purchase fresh air-to-air -air systems for its fighter jets. India has continued to maintain high operational readiness, and the Air Force is flying several additional sorties of its fighter jets, which are fully loaded with their respective air-to-air -air systems, thus reducing the shelf life of the system. The air-to-air -air systems have a larger shelf life when stored in a canister, and it also depends on the number of sorties being undertaken on a fighter jet. Despite all the hectic consultations with the US, the Pakistan Air Force has deployed its F-16 fighter jets at forward bases along the border with India. Pakistan has also decided to increase the deployment of a new squadron of F-16 fighter jets along the border areas with India, and this new squadron includes a total of 8 F-16 fighter jets. According to latest reports, the Ordnance Factory Trichy will start the production of the stabilized remote control gun system, which will be manufactured through transfer of technology from Israel, and will be mounted over the vessels of Indian Navy. The officials have said that the existing machineries at the Ordnance Factory can take up the production with minor modifications. China has decided to come in support of its all-weather ally, as China will sell its long-range CH-4 and CH-5 drones to Pakistan. The CH-4 can carry up to 400 kilograms of payload with an endurance of 40 hours, and has a range of up to 5,000 kilometers. While the CH-5 can carry up to 1,000 kilograms of payload with an endurance of 60 hours, and has a range of up to 6,500 to 10,000 kilometers. In a major boost to the firepower of the Special Forces of Indian Army, the government has decided to buy rifles ammunition and parachutes and several other specialized equipments from the U.S. The defense minister will decide on the proposal to buy the equipments worth over 1,000 crore rupees in a government-to-government -government deal under the foreign military sales route. The government is also planning to equip the special forces of the Indian Army with more carbines, and these carbines will be like the Belgian carbines used by the Special Protection Group. Like the Indian Air Force's MiG-21 which recently shot down the Pakistani F-16, the R-73 short-range air-to-air system was also on the verge of retirement, after the Indian Air Force planned to replace them with the European Advanced Short-Range Air-to-Air System. The ASRAM will be locally manufactured in India with a minor transfer of technology, and will be equipped on all the current and future fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. According to reports, India is also actively considering the procurement of the improved model of the Russian system called K-74M, which Russia has developed for Su-35 and Su-57 fighter jets. It comes with a greater range of 40 km from the previous 30 km, and the K-74M also has improved infrared countermeasures. According to latest reports, Indian Air Force fighter bases are facing serious issues related to the shortage of aircraft hangars and hardened shelters, for the Su-30 and the upcoming Rafale fighter jets. The construction work has also slowed down since January 2019, and around 40% of the work on Rafale hangars and 30% of Su-30 shelters have been completed. The Ministry of Defense was due to pay about 2,000 crore rupees to the contractors by January 2019, but only 230 crore rupees was released, and now the contractors have stopped the work, as the bill raised against work has not been paid yet. Oh, Mark,